day 22 of documenting my life because every day is special. As you can see, I'm not in my room right now. I am back in the practice rooms at 98 Hemingway um, to record a podcast. It's my third one in three days. And I'm so excited to talk to none other than Julia Boyeva. I've been trying to schedule a podcast with her for more than a year now. And today is finally the day. So I'm so excited. She's been in two of my favorite shows, K-pop and Here Lies Love. And she's just an excellent singer, performer, and just the kindest person. So I'm so excited excited to finally get to chat with her all about her journey and just what it took to get to where she is now. Um, and so I'll put the link in my, it's in my website, but if I'll, I'll put it maybe in the caption somewhere so that you all can check it out. But yay, I'm so excited. I love just singing. I don't like, I don't care to be seen. Like I just want to sing, you know, mm -hmm. and I got to do that being in a recording studio. So there's a part of me that really loves that as well, but I love the live aspect of theater. So it really was kind of the perfect show and and role to utilize all of my experience um, yeah. which was awesome i have returned to my room after a very good podcast with julia we talked for like two hours just about her journey about being asian about here lies love and about k-pop um, and she's truly one of my favorite people and so I'm so happy we're able to make it happen because it's been about a year of trying to schedule this thing so we did it um, <laughs> and I think now I have some rosé tteokbokki um, it's instant it's in the, for the microwave that I think I'm gonna eat because I only ate some mango this morning um, and then after that I think I need to call Angelina to see where they are so I'll Maybe we'll film some more stuff for Mean Girls because we didn't finish everything yesterday, obviously. There's a lot of material. Um, and so, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful Sunday here in Boston and, you know, get ready for tomorrow. So this is the tteokbokki. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I like have to stir it. I put water in it already. Um, and then you just microwave it and then it's ready. It's very, very fun to do and very tasty. If you've never had tteokbokki, it's rice cakes, Korean rice cakes. And I recently started eating it. Like I think since I came to college, I started trying it and I figured out that I actually really like it. And it's like, um, this is kind of like having an instant ramen, but in rice cake form. So let's, I'm gonna keep stirring this and then pop it in the microwave. This is the finished heated up um, tteokbokki and it smells so good and I cannot wait to eat this because I only had mango this morning I think I said that and I'm just like this is this is delicious okay wait, let's see incredible like it's slightly sweet but it's like a little bit spicy and just really good and you know, I love some hot food. Um, so, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to finish this. I'm also editing my stuff right now so I can get my podcast up today. Um, and yeah, oh my gosh, such, I'm like so happy right now. Like I don't always feel like this, but I think with the past few days, just doing podcasts, like interviewing people and talking to people just about themselves really brings me a lot of joy. And I love highlighting different aspects of their lives or parts of their careers and just getting to talk to amazing people is is one of my greatest um joys in life and so i'm not always super super happy with everything going on you know life's hard but i think today i'm feeling especially happy <laughs> so hopefully we can keep that momentum going we just did more self tape filming. Ooh. We could not find a practice room, so we're just more. we're just in we're just in my room. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, now we're gonna go get some dinner with Ashin. <laughs> Done with dinner, and now I'm printing some sheet music and the beautiful library. It's eleven o'clock, so it's time for me to start winding down and getting ready to go to sleep for a new day tomorrow. Um, but today was really fun and fulfilling. Getting to talk to Julia was a great gift in my life. And she is just the, I've said this a bunch of times, but she is the sweetest person, I think. Um, and so yeah, I hope I get to see her in person sometime soon. 
um, so that I can just, you know, get to talk to my ate because she is so, such a kind soul. Um, and yeah, today was great and hopefully another good day tomorrow. It's another long day. I don't have acting tomorrow, but I will have classes from I think noon until nine, so quite a long day, but I'll see you tomorrow.